A bill introduced in Georgia at the House of Representatives could label some dogs as dangerous and force shelters to provide bite statistics to people looking to adopt those dogs. Logan's Law is named after a six-year-old boy in Atlanta who was killed by a pack of pit bulls while waiting for his school bus. News Channel 6's Mike Miller live in the Evanstown Center Dog Park tonight. And Mike, the bill still needs to be approved by the House, the Senate, and even the governor. Well, if approved, it would become law on July 1st. Now, out here at this dog park in Columbia County, we have spotted several dogs that match the breeds mentioned in the dangerous dog list. However, the pet owners out here say they have never had any problems with those types of breeds. David Skirbo spends a lot of time at the dog park in Evans. We all know each other. Um, there's a Facebook uh, group of uh, Evans Dog Park Center. Um, and I feel comfortable. I've been coming here for about three years with my two dogs. His dog, Bella, is a pit bull boxer mix, and his dog, Tucker, is a German Shepherd Akita mix. They're put on that, that bad breed list, but um, I think it's all depending on how you raise your dog, honestly. Um, my dogs are lovable, and they're good dogs. However, if a new house bill is approved, Skirbo's dogs would be classified as dangerous. The list of breeds includes American Pit Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, American Bully, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Doberman Pinscher, Rottweiler, German Shepherd, Chow Chow, Husky, Great Dane, Akita, Boxer, and Wolf Hybrid. And if it's a dangerous breed, then it should be definitely on that list. But I think if you have interaction with them and the more you get them out and socialized, I think uh, your chances of them acting out is really slim to none. Columbia County Animal Services also agrees that the responsibility lies with the pet owner, not the dog. Operations Manager Daniel Main says the county is opposed to the dangerous breed bill because any breed specific legislation is problematic. Determining the actual breed of an animal goes in as deep as his DNA. Main says even though a dog may look like a pit bull, it may have more of a lab's genetics. What we look at is the animal's behavior here in the shelter. The animal's friendly, it's up for adoption, and uh, regardless of the breed. Main says the proposed bill would burden taxpayers because of DNA testing costs and the fact that shelters will have to provide statistics about the number of dog bites. However, Skirbo says those looking to adopt should know what they're getting into. You should definitely want to get in the room with that dog, see how they act, see if they act well with any other dogs or children in the family. Now, if you're looking to adopt a dog, Columbia County Animal Services does have adoptions Monday through fr Friday. They, the agency also does Saturday adoptions once a month. You can check out the shelter's Facebook page for more details. Back to you. Happening today, 